Hi everyone, it's Blake again with Northwinds Wilderness School. Welcome back to another video. I'm glad to have you with us. I'm joined again today by my lovely assistant, Evie, from the Little Girl in the Woods. Hello. And we're gonna start a new tradition today. I don't know if I'm gonna do this weekly, I don't know if I'm gonna do it monthly, I don't know if I'm gonna do it every other month, I don't know, but I'm gonna start doing book reviews. I love reading, I think a lot of you love reading, and there are so many amazing books on the subjects of bushcrafting, wilderness survival, primitive living skills, history, foraging, hunting, but any topic that relates to the outdoors, there are 27 dozen books on that topic. And I collect books, my wife collects books, and I wanna share some of our favorites with you. So today, our first book review, I've chosen what I think is one of the most important books in the outdoor skills realm. There's like a million, a million and more books in the whole entire world. Yeah, um, there are. More than a million books in the whole entire world. Way more. Fly, fly guy pigeon books. Well, if, if you figure, there's 7.7 .7 billion people in the world. Yes. And we probably have 2,000 books. So 7.7 .7 billion times 2,000 is a lot of books. Yeah. Like, this book is The Forager's Harvest by Sam Fair. Like, like there is lots of different kinds of books in the world. You can... You, there's like a hundred different books in schools. You can find so many different types of books in all across the world. Yes, you can. Sam Thayer lives in Wisconsin, which is also where we live, but I've met him a few times. He's a super nice guy. He's a really good teacher. And his three books, um, we have this one, The Forager's Harvest, we have Nature's Garden, and we have Incredible Wild Edibles, are three absolutely amazing books on the topic of foraging. Um, just to give you an idea of how in-depth these books are, I want you to take a look at this page right here. I realize you probably can't read this uh, on screen, but what this is a table of what time of year to harvest what part of the plant. Right here, early spring, March 25th to April 25th. What's available to harvest during March 25th to April 25th? Ground beans, hopness tubers, evening primrose root, parsnip, Virginia water leaf, burdock root, thistle root, thistle petiole. This is just two pages out of one book. And this chart is so valuable if you are a forager. This book covers 35 plants. So it's not like the Peterson's Guide where you're covering 150 plants or whatever it is, but you don't learn anything about the plants. You could use this book as a field guide, but I would consider it more of a textbook almost. This, um, the 35 plants that are covered in here, let me just find one for you. Um, here we go, wild leeks, ramps. This is one of the most popular plants for, that people forage. The photographs in this book are amazing. And the way it's written, it's not just, this is a leek or a wild ramp or whatever, uh, you, this is how you identify it and you can eat it. Sam tells stories about his experiences with these plants. He talks about how he learned about the plants. And then he talks about the character of the plants, like what they taste like, how you prepare them, different ways to use them. Legitimately, I know I've already said this once, but I think that um, Sam's books are probably the most important books on the market as it relates to foraging. Forager's Harvest by Samuel Thayer. Um, also, Nature's Garden and Incredible Wild Edibles. I strongly suggest you get all three. I think you can buy all three from Sam for like 50 bucks if you go to www.foragersharvest.com. So check it out. Thank you. If you read this, please let me know what you think. Or if you own it, tell me why it's your favorite book. Thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic afternoon. Bye. Bye.